Hello, today guys, I'm going to be showing you the five things you need to get your 2023-2024 lap season started. The first thing you're going to need and the most important thing is your hoop nets. I like running these 36-inch polymer hoop nets. These are the tried and true in California. These are what everyone uses, what everyone likes to use, but you can also use the flat hoop nets. These, those are not as good as these, but they work in that situation. If you can't afford these, go with a cheaper option. They always work. I've caught tons of lobster on flat hoop nets, but these is what I go for. The next thing you're gonna need is your bait cage. I like using these polymer bait cages. This is just a tried and true down here. There are tons of companies make different bait cages. Go with whatever you, what you like, but this is what I like. These is because these are seal proof. Down in Southern California, we have a nasty seal problem. Seals can get into these and tear them up. It's just no these fun. Are traditional bait cages. These is what I used to use until the seals got into it. My bait was gone 20, 30 minutes. These, my bait's fresh all day. Next thing you're gonna use is your rope. I like using leaded rope, just sinks better. You need about 75 feet is what I like to use, but I know some people use 25, just depends on where you're fishing. I fish Catalina a lot, Mission Bay. Mission Bay is definitely shallower, but Catalina, I definitely like to drop a little bit deeper. I also like to like a loop uh, to add my carabiner. It easy, makes it easier to store. And then I like to loop it up and zip tie it for storage, or when I'm in my pot, just keeps everything nice and neat. The next thing you're gonna need is your buoys. I like using these polymer buoys. I picked them up for about $30 at Dick's Sporting Goods. The things you need to ride on your buoys is your Go ID. This should be at the top of your fishing license. Pretty easy to find. It's about a 10 to 16 digit number. Don't know off the top of my head. The next thing you're going to need is your name and your phone number. This is, this is not mandatory, I'm pretty sure. Don't quote me on that. But this is what I like to do just in case my buoys are lost. I also like to make my buoys detachable. Just go, uh, bring the line through twice. Tie a little overhand knot. I like to electrical tape it, or you can just melt it with a lighter. Works for this works for me the best. The next thing, um, this is because I like to add the carabiner. It makes it easier to store, so I don't have to keep it in my pots and attach it to my lines. It just makes everything easier to store by itself in storage. The next thing I like to do is I like to drill holes. This is because this is where I like to put my glow sticks to make my uh, buoys more visible at night. I also like to drill about a three-fourths inch hole in the bottom. Uh, only as long as the weight is and out of thought a six to eight ounce weight but This is so the buoy can sit upright in the water instead of Washing around like that it makes it easier. To Next see thing you're gonna need is your lights I like using these little things you can pick about a 30 pack up for 10 bucks at Walmart pretty cheap You just stick it right in drop it in the water see your pots all night long They last about six hours. You can also go and buy a more expensive option. This is what I just like for me Thanks for watching. These are the five things you need for your 2024 lobster season. 2023, 24, 24 lobster season.